Hey folks, um, I'm going to start a uh, little bit of a, a video series here on my trailer. Uh, before I do that, I'll give a, a little bit of a history of my ideas for trailers. Um, I have been wanting some type of uh, off-road trailer for several years and as with a lot of people, the original idea was uh, to kind of build a military style clone trailer, um, just to store gear and that kind of stuff, possibly a rooftop tent and, and that sort of thing. And as time progressed, the ideas kept changing and uh, coming up with new ideas and that kind of stuff. And, and uh, I just never really got, got going on it. And then it, uh, at some point, uh, uh, a year or so ago, I uh, come across a deal on a small cargo trailer, uh, a little four by six uh, enclosed trailer that, uh, it was a deal that I just couldn't pass up at the time and uh, ended up snagging it up and started to put some work, especially into the suspension and, and that kind of stuff. I built a custom swing arm suspension for it and. Uh, started to redo the tongue and that kind of stuff um, and my goal was to have it done for Toyota event season of 2018 and early on in 2018 I, I began to quickly realize it with my job and my home time and that kind of stuff that I just wasn't going to get it done so uh, plans changed a little bit but uh, Real quick, uh, I'll, I'll kind of, it's kind of buried in the weeds at the moment, but I'll take you around the, the original trailer and then show you what, uh, kind of what I changed gears into. All right, so this is the, uh, the original trailer that I, I started with. And uh, you can see I lengthened the, Planned on lengthening the tongue out on it quite a bit. Um, use some uh, quarter inch wall two by two tubing for for the tongue and and that sort of thing. Um, my my goal all along with with this style of trailer, at least, is to have uh, to have a trailer that that I could uh, have set up and ready to sleep in in just a matter of minutes. Um, also, my wife is adamant, adamantly against having a rooftop tent. Um, try to get under here a little bit so you can see the, the suspension that I kind of put together for it, knocked down some of these little sapling trees here. Um, but you can kind of see the, the swing arm suspension. I just, uh, tack this tubing in here to uh, to get it where I could move it. Um, it was tying up my shop and, and uh, needed to uh, needed to get it out of the shop. So I just tacked them in there to kind of hold it hold it in place. Um, like I said with uh, with my job and that kind of stuff it just uh, I just didn't see having time to to finish this little trailer up the way that I the way that I wanted to. Now I kind of hate the idea that I put as much work into it as I did, and after the fact, um, that uh, it's just sitting here. So there is a good possibility that this this suspension, um, although I may re redo some of it, uh, may very well get swapped over to the new trailer um, that I'm gonna gonna show you here in just a second. Uh, let's go take a look at that and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. Okay, so this is the trailer that I, I wound up with. Um, I picked it up uh, the spring of 2018. Uh, bought it brand new from Runaway Campers. Uh, and I haven't done much to it since I bought it, although the ARB awning, um, I did add that, and 
The cargo box on top, I'm not 100% sure is going to stay put, but we had a, had a trip planned to Pennsylvania in July, and my wife went with me on that trip, and my wife loves to overpack. And I knew that uh, with her going and her ability to pack, that I was gonna need some extra storage space if I wanted to utilize the camper in the way that uh, <coughs> pardon me in the way that I wanted to uh, wanted to use it um, on that trip uh, I definitely discovered that and and this trailer is not uh, not at all an off-road style trailer although runaway does build a venture model of this same trailer that uses timber and axles and and uh, has a few upgrades to it but I wanted to do some things my own way on this and uh, so that's what uh, I, I ordered just pretty much a base model um, trying to think let's let's uh, I'll have to unlock the door here but show you kind of the inside of it if we can get any video in there and then we'll kind of explain where we're gonna go okay this is the interior um, of this little trailer uh, you can see on the back wall back there I had uh, the cargo net out of my FJ Cruiser that uh, I had taken out previously and, and just had it laying on a shelf in the in the shop. And I thought, well, that would be a good place for that. And it's it's worked out really well. Gave a little bit of a place to, to store stuff and that sort of thing. But uh, just kind of a mess up front here. But there's a little, little shelf up top and <clears throat> the air conditioner and... and uh, that sort of stuff, pretty pretty sparse accommodations, but uh, overall very happy with it. The wife and I spent, uh, like I said, when we went to Pennsylvania, we spent four, I think four nights in here, and uh, it's a little cramped, but uh, definitely livable, and uh, we have thoroughly enjoyed it. Some of uh, some of the plans that I have for this this little camper are. Uh, one to to get rid of these little dinky 13 inch wheels and tires that are on here and try to uh try to get at least a 31 inch tire i know a lot of people when they put an off-road trailer together they try to match the uh tire size of their tow vehicle to the trailer um however i i tow this mainly with my fj cruiser and it has 35 inch tires on it and i i think that that's going to be a little bit much for uh for this little little trailer um starting out with a trailer that was already built um uh, also i think it would make it uh, a little high to climb climb in and out the door uh so i think um just a a, a little bit of height frame height and 31 inch tires are going to be going to be spot on for me um my initial goal is to to accomplish that is probably going to be uh, just doing a spring over um, and seeing if I can fit uh, 31 inch tires uh, that may not uh, may not work the axles kind of kind of narrow but uh, I'll try that out I know a few few other people that own own these little runaways have done that and, and had decent results with it uh, like I said earlier uh, the end goal might be to uh, to swap the suspension out of the out of the little black trailer uh, and get some uh, either some coilovers or airbags or something along those lines. Um, this is never going to be a super hardcore off-road trailer. I'm not looking to drag it down the the roughest trails I can find or or anything of the sort. Um, just want to get it where it toes a little bit better on on rough surfaces. Um, some of the other other goals will be a storage box on the front, um, some kind of a, a storage box on the on the rear, and to accomplish those two things. In addition to that, and I really can't do this until I figure out my my uh, what exactly I'm going to do for suspension and axle width and and wheel width and that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm going to uh, to build some rails all the all the way around this, similar to. Uh, to maybe a rock slider or something like that. Um, 
that will also give me a place to uh, try to mount a spare tire and, and some other things that, that I want to add uh, as, uh, as time goes along. But um, like I said, this is just the, the kind of intro video to this little little series that I'm going to do on this trailer. I'm going to try to to document as much uh, as much of the progress as I can. Um, I may even go back and, and uh, like the roof racks uh, or roof rails or other that the uh, the ARB is mounted to and uh, and the cargo box up on the roof. Um, I uh, Runaway does offer those from the, the the factory, but they use round tubing for them, and I didn't uh, didn't really care for that. So I, I built my own and in, installed my own, and I may go back and kind of explain how I did that and that kind of stuff. Uh, but I get a lot of questions about it and a lot of uh, a lot of suggestions and, and people kind of wondering what my plans are and and that kind of stuff. So I thought I like I said I thought I would do this uh, this little bit of video series to kind of update everybody and and uh, and that sort of thing. But if you've got any input or any questions or anything like that, uh, feel free to uh, feel free to hit me up. Um, if you're interested in a runaway camper, I will try to get a link to. Uh, to uh, run away, put in uh, in the uh, notes for this ep or for this video. Um, trying to think here. Uh, anyway, as always, if uh, if you enjoy the content here on YouTube uh, and, and you're a fan of Toyotas, check out what we do on the podcast, Toyota Trucks and Trails Podcast. This uh, YouTube channel is is associated with the podcast, so if you're a if you're a fan of Toyotas, check that out. Uh, all right, until next time.